Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, a member of the Royal Naval Division describes the chaos on the battlefield resulting from the bad weather and heavy cloud cover. Bad weather and heavy cloud cover added to the chaos on the battlefield. Able seaman Joe Murray was born in 1896. He served with the Hood Battalion, 63rd Royal Naval Division, in the Gallipoli Campaign in 1915. Following the British withdrawal from the Dardanelles, his battalion found itself on the Somme. Joe describes the scene on the front line. It was very misty, a really wet mist. It wasn't a scotch mist, it was a double scotch mist, nasty, wet and claggy. As soon as the barrage opened, the sky turned red, just like the ironworks at home across the Derwent Valley. When they were drawing their furnaces, you'd get a red glow, and that was the picture I saw looking back over the lines at our own barrage. The whole sky was lit up, and you could feel the shells. You could actually feel the damn things going over your head like a wind in the fog. There were 12 or 13 rows of barbed wire in front of the first trench, and when the bombardment goes into that, it's supposed to cut it. But it doesn't destroy the wire. It builds it into a bloody heap with gaps in it here and there. And when the enemy's alive and awake to the idea that you're coming, they've got their machine guns trained on these gaps. Therefore, you get slaughtered. But we got through it, some of us, anyhow. There didn't seem to be many of our chaps around as we pressed forward and entered the second line. The Drakes and Nelsons got all mixed up, and on the left they were all banging and crashing about, and there was terrible fire coming from this redoubt. It was a square of trenches lined with men manning machine guns, probably a hundred men in it, and it wasn't even touched by the artillery. How they missed that, Lord only knows. We had terrible casualties. When we got into the second line, there were hardly any of us about. We were supposed to rest there for 40 minutes so the next lot could go through us and take the green line. It was General Freiburg who got us together and led us on, and there were all too few of us, believe me. But we went on and captured the green line, although there was nobody on our left at all by then. Joe Murray was severely wounded on the Somme, but survived the war. He returned to the battlefields he had fought on several times. He died in January 1994, aged 97. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, a member of the Hertfordshire Regiment remembers the challenges of being on the march.